Amalia Shakirova, Miss Grand Us. Thank you. Stan! Hey, thank you. Thank you. And we are Miss Alinda, the franchise owner of Miss Grand uh, International Uzbekistan. Hello, how are you? And congratulations for the launch. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so our, our question is, um, what triggered uh, for you to get the franchise of uh, Miss Grand International Uzbekistan? Well, I've known Mia for about eight years, and I was her uh, ex-boss in the modeling agency in Singapore, and we've always been good friends. So, to be very honest, I didn't sign her this time. So I really want this win to be hers. I always support the underdog because I have been the underdog before and I only hope that she passes it forward. Yeah. It, uh, it's, it's a different kind of competition in Miss Grand International. So we just want to know in your own, uh, in your own words, how grand is Miss Grand International Uzbekistan? I mean, look at her. She owns the room. Even when she just steps in without saying a word, she already owns the room. I'm pretty confident that she will win this. Have you had any conversations with Mr. Nawat? Of course, we're very um, curious about uh, any conversations that you may have had with her. Um, not yet, but I've spoken to Teresa via email. Yeah. Okay. And um, how confident are you to uh, get the crown for Uzbekistan for this edition of Miss Grand Internet? I'm very confident. Look at my candidate. Yeah. And what kind of support um, does the Filipino community play in uh, the preparation of uh, Miss Grant? Filip the Filipino team here, when it came to, it's the creme de la creme of pageantry. If you want to get prepared and you want to be ready for battle, your gown, your makeup, your shoes, your styling, Everything, the best is in Manila. I am a Singaporean and I, even, I, I, I admit, Manila is the best. Come here to get prepped. This is the training ground. But many are asking also, if, if that's the case, you would still be continuing to showcase the culture of Uzbekistan, right? Uh, yes, of course. Definitely. And uh, you also own other franchises of Miss Grand International? Oh no, I don't. Only, this is my first time and I'm really doing it as a friend. But I've learned so much this first time round, so it's a, it's a definitely a possible, uh, replicable business model. It can happen uh, again, yeah. And we've seen uh, representations of Uzbekistan in other pageants as well, and I'm sure this is groundbreaking uh, for Uzbekistan. Your message to the people of Uzbekistan? I just wish for everyone to look at this gem that you have before you. And she will do your country proud. I'm a Singaporean and as a friend, I believe 100% in her. So Uzbekistan, go for it. Thank you and congratulations in advance. Amalia Shakirova, Miss Grand Uz. Becky, Stan! <laughs> I just want to ask again because uh, earlier it was a very um, you know the sound is so too loud uh, but your message to the people of Uzbekistan now that you're representing them in Miss Grand International I would like to say thank you so much to Uzbekistan I'm very glad that I was born in exact country and exact timing with exact family I'm thank you for everything I have experienced I've got and all the support and love my message would be to never stop, don't limit yourself, and go forward. Push yourself to all your limits and break through. Thank you. How about to the Filipino fans who may be starting to follow your journey in Miss Grand International? Hello everyone, thank you so much. I really like Philippines and I'm glad that I can connect to all of you guys and hopefully that, you know, I, I will be Filipina not just by the heart, but who knows? Thank you so much. Maramik Salamat. <laughs> many are asked, many are saying that they're getting the Celeste Cortesi vibe from you. Uh, she's one of the most loved beauty queens, uh, Miss Universe Philippines queens here in the Philippines. What can you say about that? Well, first, thank you so much. I find her really beautiful. Uh, she's very tall, she's very sexy. 
Yeah, uh, thank you so much. And to be honest, uh, before I was also compared to <laughs> Miss Catriona Gray, uh, Robia Matteo. I see the comments, I hear this from makeup artists, from stylists, time to time. So I guess my dad really doesn't know something. And maybe, you know, half of me is Filipina. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Your thoughts of, on uh, Nikki DeMora, our uh, very own Miss Grand uh, Filipina? Oh, she is also very, very pretty, and I like her curls. It's very unique. I find it's very unique because normally most of the pageant girls we would have waves or straight hair. So I find Nikki is very unique, and her look is also unique because she is mixed with Brazilian, as far as I know. Correct me if I'm yes, wrong. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> I make some research. <laughs> How about your family's reaction after knowing that you signed up for Miss Grand International? Well, they support me because they cannot fight my wishes anymore. <laughs> I mean, in terms of when I started modeling, I was very young. I was 13 and I traveled to Japan. That was my first travel as a model. And that's how I started. I didn't actually start back in my country. So, of course, family would be very worrying. And each of the family members, they want to protect their children, correct? So... They, they tired of fighting, so they're just giving me full support, they're being on my side and they're just, you know, calming me down in times when I'm being anxious or nervous. Do you find your being a model an advantage over the other candidates in Miss Grand International? I wouldn't say uh, I have an advantage over the other candidates. I would prefer to stay humble because everyone have their own advantages and disadvantages. But I believe that yes, being a model, it is obviously my advantage because I can, you know, change the roles. I know how to do that for many years. I know how to pose. I know how to act. I know how to work with a camera. So if it's just going to be you, can you describe uh, the grandest evening gown that you can imagine, that you'd like to wear? Oh. A color, or is it shiny, is it full of uh, gems, glittery? That I would like to keep as a secret. Okay. <laughs> but your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color would be black, blue, red. Thank you, thank you so much.